Hey everyone, it's Mike here again, and uh, so this is video number two. So we're starting here on MailChimp.com. So for this to work, you obviously need a MailChimp account. Now the cool thing is with MailChimp is if you go to the pricing, you can see that they have this free forever plan, which allows you to basically do everything you need to do in real estate for free. So that's really, really cool. Anyways, you can go through this, see if MailChimp is going to be the, the right thing for you. And if you do believe that it is, then you can click the sign up for free button. I've already created an account, so we're going to jump into my account. So once you create an account, it looks like this. So this is our main dashboard here on MailChimp. And again, if you remember, we're looking for that thing called an API key. So you can see we've got campaigns, templates, lists, and reports. You're going to find your API key that you need to put back in RealOffice 360 under your profile. So if we click over here on our profile and we go down to profile, you'll see that they've got a bunch of different stuff that you can go in here. And I encourage you to go through MailChimp's uh, support center. They've got a lot of different stuff. But to find the API key, we go over to extras. We've got rewards, API keys. You click that little tab. And it'll tell you all about API and all this good stuff and all this jargon. But what you're looking for is this thing right here, this API key. So if you just click on it and copy it over, that's all you need to do. So control C or if you're on a Mac, command C once it's highlighted. And then all you have to do is go back to RealOffice. So I'm going to navigate back to RealOffice 360. And if you remember this page, it was asking for the API key. I just simply click the edit button, click in this field here paste the value and click save and it's going to tell me this now in this case i need a company it's saying that i need a company so again if there's an issue here it says you need to have a company name in my profile so for this to work i need to go back to my details and let's just update some of my information so brokerage name i'm going to type in hia test brokerage and let's we'll save that now let's go back to the api key and try that again Copy that uh, that uh, code in there. Oh, we need an address in our profile. Okay, so this is all really, really good. Let's go through and get our address. So I'm going to uh, use an office address for us. So let's see here. Let's go with uh, 123 Fake Street. That's in Calgary. Uh, let's use this postal code, Canada, Alberta, and we'll save that there. So now let's go back and try this one more time here and see what we can do. Enter in the API key and voila, it updated. So now you can see that it's got this API key for this account. So the cool thing is it's going to take about three to five minutes. But when you go back to uh, MailChimp, you're going to see your database list. They're waiting for you with email. So if we go to our database, just to look at this, you can see here I've got these five clients. It's only going to sync the ones that have email, so this is just going to sync across Randy Harrison because, again, it's an email system. So if I go back to my MailChimp account and I go over to my lists, that's where your lists are going to be, you'll see that I have my real Office 360 client list waiting here for me. So that's it in a nutshell. If you have any problems with the API key or figuring out MailChimp, MailChimp has a great support center. If you have any issue updating the API key in real Office, just send us a note at support. Thank you.